Okay, today is a surprise for a friend of mine. I'm dedicating this video to a friend of mine that lives in the United Kingdom. His name is Daryl. He is a big Master System fan. He says the system doesn't get enough love, and I think he's right. I never owned one myself way back when, but I remember seeing these in like Toys R Us next to all the NES stuff. That's what I was into back then was NES. So this is for you, Daryl. I hope you like this video. It's all I've got, you know, this is my model one. I bought it back in 2005 and the games I bought, I bought back then when I got it. I never bought one after that. Here, I'll show them to you. And there are the games. It's what I have. It's what I bought when I bought it. I paid $40 for the system, the controllers, two controllers, had no games, had the hookups. I'm hooking through them, RCA Jack, composite, so that's how I'll be playing it today. But I got there, Global Defense, World Grand Prix, Rocky, Choplifter, Hang On, and Astro Warrior on one, and Afterburner, I love Afterburner. And Astro Warrior is very hard, but I do like the game. So I actually got seven there, because the one's a dual cartridge. So um, the only problem I have is I couldn't seem to find my um, Master System controllers. I looked and looked and looked today for them, and I cannot, for the life of me, find them. So this is what I'm going to do instead. This will work just fine. Sega Genesis controller, I've tried it before. It's compatible with the Master System. Master System controllers will play on a Genesis, but you may not have enough buttons with the Master System controller on a Genesis because you got the C button here too. That's the only difference. You have a C button, added button there. It's all I see. The start button is its own button here. So I'll just use this. I'm going to keep looking for those controllers. I, for nothing, cannot find them. And I'm picturing them someplace, and I don't know where, but... This is what we have to deal with today, so we'll start out by getting a game loaded up here and start playing. Okay, and here we go. Hold on. Just one minute. Just one minute. Okay, now here we go. Sega Master System, Sega 1986. That is Afterburner. Let's get some volume. I just bumped up the volume a little bit. It's Afterburner. I don't know how many people out there really care for Afterburner, but I always liked it. B is a start button. Like it is on a master system controller. It looks like B and C, that's what works on a Genesis one here. Yes, yeah, number one on the master system controller is a start. And then the two would be like the action button. I mean, technically I guess. Master System is better than um, the regular NES graphic-wise. It had a better processor. This looks pretty good on this TV, just going through regular composite. B is like number one, so it's the bottom is there. And there I go. Burning up, afterburner. I don't have the light gun for this. I wonder how bad it is. And I don't have any, like, I showed you the game, so I don't have any of the game cards that you can plug into it. I'm going to have to look into a little bit more on this system. Had, this was, like, one of the first things I was collecting when I first started on collecting this. They say someone gave me an NES. 
I have it here, the one I installed the blinking light went in, and ever since I got that, it was like a, an encouragement to collect everything. And I was looking for a master system right behind that. I moved into my house in 2005, and yeah, I have my own place to do this in now, so I can collect what I want and put it where I want in here. That's what I kind of did. This afterburner is pretty repetitive. I like to find the master system controller. It's just be nice. I just don't know where I put them. I look through all my stuff. Unless they're in a crate down in this basement and I buried them or something. I did have a crate with stuff in it. The games and stuff. But I thought I got everything out of there like that. I'm crashing in. Game over. Okay, well, let's try another one here. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Love that start screen. This is Rocky for the Sega Master System. This one's got kind of dumped on, I guess. The gameplay and all that. But it's not horrible. I mean, the purpose of this training is to increase the punching power and improve the timing of your punch. I can't even finish. <laughs> Went away. I thought it would let me read it until, you know, I was done reading. That's all I do. I just start hitting buttons. I just start posting it up. I don't understand, I mean... Qualify 60, so I get there. I don't know. Come on, come on, come on, 10 seconds. Get this, get 60, see what happens. There, past 60. Apollo versus Rocky. Man, graphics are pretty good, really, for a good game here. I don't understand his control. He's to punch and he can't keep walking and punch. I finally punched him. I know I've gotten past him before. See, this game takes a long time warming up to get someone. This does not sound like Rocky music either. I mean, they could have put a little bit of a theme in it. A little bit of an 8 bit version of the theme of Rocky. I knocked him down. Come on, stay down, Apollo. Nah, he's not gonna stay down. Thunderball. Alright, let's go at this again. Sega Master System actually did really well. I didn't realize it. I always thought it was a failure, but I guess not. It's still alive in Brazil to this day. I don't know. I don't think Sega has anything to do with that, but they do have one, it's, it's from Tech Toy, I looked it up, which you can get. It doesn't take cartridges, it's just all pre-installed stuff, so I mean, it's just something someone else is making, Sega has nothing to do with it, but I guess it's just always really popular in Brazil. And I think my good friend there is right that, you know, this system just didn't get enough love. It still doesn't. Come on, stay down, Apollo. He, he got up at 10? That went to 10, that should have been the end of that. That's kind of cheap. They counted to 10. Alright. I don't need to 
watch that. Knock him down again. He's gonna get up again. Man, he just doesn't stay down. How do you duck? How is he doing that? Unless I made him duck, I don't know. I can't seem to do it. I knocked him down again. Stay down, Apollo. Stay down. I'm going to win this belt. Hey, finally. I won that. Here we go back to the train. Hit buttons. I get it down in two seconds? I don't know what that means. I might do some more games for the system. Get my um, collection going on a little bit. Just get one here or there if I'm kind of cheap enough. But that's not easy these days. Everything's going up in value on this stuff because there's very little of it still around that works. <laughs> At least that's what they claim. I'm fighting Clubber Lang. Mr. T. He's going to hand it to me here. I think, yeah, I think that would be like the number one button. I'm just hitting the button. I'm just trying to... Ah, he knocked me down. I know I've gotten to Drago before. Let's go ahead and show you another. Well, this is Rocky for the Sega Master System. Well, let's go ahead and go to another one. Here we go. Hang on an Astro Warrior so we can do a double header on this. Okay, let's do Astro Warrior. I can't ever seem to clear one level in this game. I mean, it's a good shooter for the Master System, but it's very hard. I, I don't think I ever got through the first level. I just can't beat the boss game. Just a shooter, that's it. Nothing spectacular. Shooter for the Master System. I've never converted a Play Master System game on my game that I bought a few years ago. And it was a good thing I bought when I did. I only spent like around 20 bucks for it. I think it was going for like 50 or 60 when I saw it again. If I want to play it on the game gear, I can if I, you know, didn't want to hook this thing up. As far as the Master System goes, yeah, I recommend it if you never had one or whatever. Even if you had one, you really liked it. You want it again, but you're like, well, I already been there, done that. Well, it's up to you. And 
game that he had mentioned to me, that Daryl mentioned to me, is, um, what is it? Global Gladiator. Global Gladiator, Mick and Max. He says it's okay. It's a McDonald's game. I tried it on the Genesis recently. I don't have it for this, but I'm gonna have to see if I can come across it so I can try it out. He kind of has me interested in that. Now, I have the kids for the NES, which I'm thinking about reviewing that. I just don't know when yet. Oh, here's the boss. happens every time. You just gotta not watch him, you gotta watch the bullets he's shooting at you or whatever. Every firing at you. And avoid it and just keep shooting him. He got me again and I was watching. Man, just too much crap on the screen. Man. He really unloads on me. I'm too worried about where I'm hitting him. It's part of the issue I have with fighting him. <laughs> Stupid ship doesn't like it doesn't move far enough. Alright, that's enough of that. Reset. Uh, I thought if I did that. Let's try Hang On. It's on here, so... I thought if I hit reset, it would have went back to this screen, but it didn't. Hang On's a good game. That's a classic Sega game. Old arcade. Okay, which button is it? Okay. The C button on this. Okay, I'm not understanding why this thing isn't moving. That's the break. You hold up, does it go? I can't seem to get any speed. Oh, I get it. I see it. You gotta press down. I need mean, something like that. I'm gonna end up losing now trying to figure that out. The problem is real easy to press down when you're staring at the stupid thing. You have to hold down? Maybe that's the thing to do. Hold it down. Didn't make it to the finish line, so I have to try it again. That's messing around, trying to figure out the control here. Alright, let's try this again. See if I can't qualify. put it on the D-pad like that. This is probably more meant to be played in the arcade. That's, hang on, that's an arcade game. I want to play it on that machine where you can tilt the motorcycle. That's, that's fun. Uh, okay, maybe I should get some speed first. really into hang on, I guess. Maybe that's part of my problem here. Getting into Rocky pretty good there. Oh, I didn't qualify. Good. Oh, I made it, I made it. Barely went over the line there. Let's see if we can keep going. Ah, I jinxed myself.
Yeah, the system does have pretty decent graphics for an old 8-bit, eight, eight whatever that means. An old console from the 80s. <laughs> I don't even know what a bit is. You used to think, well, it's 8-bit. Yeah, that's great. Now it's 16-bit. Oh, that's twice as good. I lost. All right, let's try one more and then we'll go over the machine a little bit. And I'll just kind of wrap it up. We're going to try Choplifter. This game I just don't know how to play, really. Never had much luck with it. Let's see what I can do here. to drive a fly a helicopter and drive. Flying a helicopter is kind of a skill, I'd say. I almost try to make it that way in this game. Hit C, at number two on the master system controller, does that. Not very good at Choplifter, and a lot of people like this game. They made a few of them. It went into the Sega Genesis. on this system. Um, overall, I think it's a great game system. Here, we'll take a look at it. Show you. Alright, this is it. Sega Master System. Nice console. I like it. I'm not sure what this is. Cap came off the back. I wonder if it was an expansion port or something hook something up to it eventually but you know never did that you got the AV out here which these two here someone I worked with years ago I gave this to him and he modded these in here and I don't get it one of them's a pitcher wire and that's all you could get you couldn't get the sound out of it and it's white and red like it would be if they were both sound wires but it didn't work and then we found out it had this AV out on here I could have just used that and that's what I was using but what he did here isn't bad it's just kind of useless to only get you a picture I just leave it alone and you got you know your channel select if you hook it up into the coaxial cable coax on the TV and RF out Let's see. the RF out would be yeah if you were just gonna hook into that cable port on the back of the TV there which I'm not trying to do so and this AC adapter just if it's a Sega Genesis one it'll work I think that's all this is I wouldn't know where the original one was that came with it but it just plugs in and it works there must be the same voltage so not a you know real big deal there and then here's the wire just have the yellow and white here and this just plugs in here. It's, if I had known that, I would never even gave it to him to fool around with here. Anything like that, yeah. And nice. I'm just kind of going over the base. It's not like any other old console. It's kind of the, you know, dang cartridge slot there. 
got reset and then pause and that pause button on mine always kind of sticks it's like the spring is loose or something in there but whatever it's I don't use it because by the time you get up to pause it you're gonna be dead in the game I don't know why they didn't put that on the controller but that's how they did it on this thing but controller one controller two card input power let me see if I'm showing you this and let me do that again controller one and two and then the card input I might add it down here and showing it to you there but overall I recommend it you never had one if you had one you want it again I say go for it you only live once so you might as well have what you like you know if you can get it if, you know funds are permitting but these are my thoughts and opinions of the Sega Master System it's an epic console and I recommend it you know so it might be kind of expensive to get some of the games but it's up to you what you want to spend on stuff I mean I look for inexpensive ones but usually they're the junk ones of the whole you know library but sometimes I'll splurge a little bit and spend a little bit more money I'm I've spent as much as 70 I think I spent 70 on Super Back to the Future 2 for the Super Famicom because I really wanted it and that's why I bought the Super Famicom so I'm like well 70 bucks isn't like 200 or 300 or 400 they have going on some of these you know games so I mean just all on what you want to spend I mean that's my opinion of it thanks for watching my video if you like the video subscribe to my channel if you want hit that like button I'd appreciate it and that's it